In this video, we're going over the top five problems on this third generation Toyota RAV4. Number one, the ignition coils. Now the ignition coils are located right here and this is what gives your spark plug the spark. When you have a problem with the ignition coils, you're gonna get a misfire, the engine's gonna run rough and you'll have a check engine light that's flashing. It's always recommended that when you replace the ignition coils, you wanna replace the spark plugs as well. Number two, the EVAP canister. It's located right here in front of the fuel tank and it has to do with the EVAP emission system. Some of the symptoms you're gonna find with this is a check engine light with an EVAP related code. It's always great to check your gas cap first before you go replacing any parts. If you have a loose gas cap, make sure you fix that first because that can cause the same code. Another symptom you may find that's related to this canister, when you go to fill up your tank at the gas station, you can't keep filling it. It keeps stopping the pump from pumping. That's because the air inside the tank has to go through this canister as you're filling it up. And if it's plugged up, it's not gonna be able to go through there and that's gonna stop the pump from pumping. Number three, O2 sensors. Now, one of the O2 sensors is located right here. In the back, this is the downstream O2 sensor, and there's another upstream O2 sensor in front of the catalytic converter. Some of the symptoms you'll notice with a bad O2 sensor is drivability issues, the vehicle may not accelerate right, it may run rough, and a check engine light. If you're replacing an O2 sensor, it's a good idea to replace the other ones because the other ones won't be far behind. Number four, front sway bar links. Sway bar links are located right here, and this one's actually bad. If you just grab it, give it a shake, you can feel some play in there. There shouldn't be any play in there. You're gonna notice when you're going down the road that you're gonna hear a rattle depending on which side it may transfer over. It is recommended when you replace one of these to replace the other one as a pair. Number five, oil leaks. Now this vehicle actually has one of the top problems. It's got a leak. This one's coming from the timing cover. But on the V6 engines, if you have the variable valve timing hose, those actually will burst and a lot of the oil will become spilling out and it's all gonna leave the engine. So you're gonna need to pull over and have the vehicle towed at that point. For this vehicle, the timing cover is gonna have to be resealed. For the V6 version, you're probably gonna need to replace that hose. So there's our top five problems on this Toyota RAV4. These overall are really good cars. I actually used to own one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, ring that bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.